welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here happy saturday thank you so much for spending some time with me today clicking on today's grocery haul i have quite the haul for you i went to three stores i did walmart grocery pickup target because i've been loving target and then i stopped at trader joe's really quick for some of my produce staples we're going to talk about my meal plan and what you're going to see monday for meal prep you're not going to want to miss it i'm so excited for this week's meal plan and meal prep so without further ado let's jump into this rather large grocery haul So let's jump into this week's grocery haul from three stores. Again, I went to Walmart grocery pickup, Target, because I'm loving me some Target for groceries, and to Trader Joe's for my produce. So let me show you what I picked up. As you know, whenever I do a Walmart pickup, I grab my six pack of my kombucha. So there's two Trilogy, two Gingerade, two Gingerberry. Fantastic price. It's $15 for six bottles, which is outstanding. I've actually never seen this combo pack anywhere else. So bravo to Walmart. And then at Target, I picked up some Dasani water. We were almost out of bottled water. And honestly, we don't drink very much anymore. Now that we have our new refrigerator, we pull our water from there. But my husband does like to take the bottles to work. It's easier, of course. He doesn't have as ready access to water. So big pack of 24 bottles of Dasani. I also grabbed some I can't believe it's not butter spray for my husband. He requested this. I tried to tell him she should just use regular butter, but he likes the convenience of this for when he eats his veggies. He just pumps a few sprays on there. And I know a lot of the WW community uses this as well. So this is the huge bottle from Walmart. And then I grabbed these at Target. I've actually never purchased these. These are good culture, which you guys know is my all time very, very, very favorite cottage cheese, but these are with fruit and only three grams of sugar and 100 calories. Now I don't know the points, but I'll put them here on the screen for you. So I'm excited to try these. This is the pineapple. And then I also decided to grab the blueberry as well because those two are my favorite fruits on cottage cheese. So if it's anything like the regular good culture cottage cheese, I'm going to love it. Fair Life Creamer. I had a coupon at Target for this. This is the sweet cream. This says 40% less sugar. Points will be here on the screen. I'm not sure if it's any less points, but I thought since I had the coupon that I would give it a try. And if you guys remember, a few hauls ago from Target, I bought the Snickerdoodle Dessert Hummus. This is the same brand, Delighted By, and this is their edible brownie batter. They have really great ingredients in here. And if I remember right, I think it's two points for two tablespoons. The Snickerdoodle was amazing. I'm going to dip graham crackers in this because I have graham crackers left over from camping since, you know, camping was a bust that I thought that would be really good dipped in this brownie batter hummus. So I'll definitely let you guys know how this is. I've never tried it, so I'm stoked. And then I needed some whole milk ricotta cheese for a recipe. This is the Galbani brand. Again, this is the whole milk. I don't find much difference in points or calories. And as you know, I prefer whole milk dairy for the nutritional benefits. And then I needed some oven made lasagna and I was so excited to find this organic one at Target. I thought I was just going to have to buy plain old non-organic and they had their Simply Balanced and this is for a recipe that I am so excited for. So again, Simply Balanced organic oven ready lasagna. Couple of cheeses. This is for my husband's lunch this week. He's decided that he wants soft tacos or burritos basically because we use the big shells. So I grabbed this Mexican style Good and Gather, which is a Target brand cheese for those. And then we used all the mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's and this is my favorite. I get a lot of questions on if or when Trader Joe's is bringing back their light mozzarella. I've not heard, but I will tell you guys that you can have a quarter cup of this mozzarella for only two points. So really not that much difference. And this is so good. It is real yummy, full fat mozzarella. It's delicious. So highly recommend if you're still looking for a lower point shredded mozzarella. And then no surprise, I restocked Cleo bars. I actually am completely out, you guys, of all those bars that I bought. So I picked up eight more, or yeah, eight more. Four strawberry, four vanilla. That was as many as they would let me add to my cart. So I grabbed those. And then I grabbed these last week and we love them. I love them. My husband loves them. They're amazing. These are the patio potato chips. So it says it's a mixed bag 
of sea salt, delicious dill, homestyle ketchup, and smoking sweet barbecue. Oh my gosh, it's so good, you guys. These are dangerous. So weigh them out and put the bag away. Let me just tell you, these are seasonal at Trader Joe's and they're four points per serving. They do not have the best ingredients, but you know, the 90-10 rule, this falls in that 10%. Picked up another box of little bites for my husband. You know, he loves these in his lunch. A lot of you ask me how I avoid eating the things that I buy for him. I don't really like these. They don't tempt me. So as long as I buy him things that I'm not prone to eat, they don't even tempt me and plus he has his own little corner of the pantry so kind of that out of sight out of mind as well these are also for him these are the trader joe's yogurt pretzels now i like these but they are like 10 points for a serving it's just not worth it to me now funny thing is they're only 150 calories but i don't really eat them i may eat one here and there but i'm not going to overdo it on these and he loves them so i pick those up and then while in Rome, or while at Target, grab Partake. So you guys know these are my favorite cookies. So many of you have sent me messages saying that you've tried these and you love them. These are the Partake gluten-free crunchy cookies. This birthday cake is my favorite. These are so good. They are two points per cookie, or you can have three cookies for 150 calories. They actually have pretty good ingredients. If my camera wants to focus, there we go. They actually have pretty good ingredients for cookies. I mean, there's cane sugar in there and there's sunflower oil. It does say non-GMO sunflower oil, which is great, but that doesn't mean that it is expeller pressed. And then you'll see a little bit of maltodextrin in the sprinkles, which I don't like at all. But you know what? That's what's in the sprinkles, which there isn't many sprinkles in these cookies. So I love these. And then I decided to grab the chocolate chip as well. They had buy one box, get a second box, 25% off. So, you know, you can't pass that up. Again, same two points per cookie or three cookies for six points or 150 calories and again there are your ingredients so I like the ingredients in this pretty darn good I mean of course they have the same sunflower oil non-gmo and cane sugar but I love these these cookies are so good the the chocolate chip and the birthday are crunchy the cinnamony one I got last time was a soft cookie which I really like too but this is the big MVP for me a can of sweet peas I was hoping for organic but I couldn't find them at Target this is for a recipe I did grab two cans of organic tomatoes one of the diced and one of the crushed and that is for a couple of upcoming dinner recipes I'm making a mess here and then some sour cream for my husband as you know he doesn't care about organic or anything so this was pretty inexpensive so I grabbed that some large raw shrimp tail off peeled and deveined for a shrimp recipe. We have been trying to eat some sort of seafood at least once a week. We're actually having scallops for dinner tonight from my butcher box, which I can't wait for. You guys, those scallops are literally like that big. They're huge. There is a link for $30 off of your first order from butcher box down below. So check them out. So shrimp is going to be our seafood of this week. Four packets of taco seasoning. Now you're probably asking, why is she buying crappy ingredient taco seasoning? This is not for eating. So I'm gonna take you guys over to my window over here. Do you guys see this gravel like right by the dog door? So Diesel likes to dig it out and make a big hole and lay in it because it's cool. But little hack for you, if you put taco seasoning in it, they won't dig because they don't like the smell of or taste of taco seasoning. So four packets because Diesel has dug that out every day this week. Mission flour tortillas, burrito size for my husband's lunch. As I mentioned, he wants burritos, so I grabbed him a pack of tortillas for that. I needed to restock my non-fat Greek yogurt. I don't eat this as just yogurt. I always have full fat dairy, but for cooking, I don't mind using this. It breaks it down anyways in the cooking process and it saves a lot of calories, fat and points. So I wanted the Fa A, but they didn't have it. So Chobani will work. My husband loved the apple ones that I grabbed last week for his lunch. So I had to pick up these cherry ones. I tried a bite of it, it's so good you guys, but it's that whole greasy pie. Do you remember that from Hostess? Like that really like greasy, leave a film on the roof of your mouth. So I wasn't a big fan, I mean it tasted good, but I didn't like the film it left behind. 
but he loved them. So I thought this week we would try the cherry. I also grabbed some more granola. I love the Purely Elizabeth. This original one doesn't have any oil in it. And the other Purely Elizabeth, some of them have palm oil or sunflower oil, which you guys know I don't love. This one doesn't have any of that. And this is just the original flavor. Six grams of sugar, 130 calories for a third of a cup. Super clean, clean, clean granola. So I grabbed that to top my yogurt or whatever I want granola for. And then Target had a great sale on the Yasso bars. Now, to be honest, I haven't even looked at the ingredients, but these are the mint chocolate crunch. Uh, yes, please. They're 150 calories for, oh, well it says, oh, that's funny. Two bars is a serving, but 300 calories. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have one bar for 150 calories. So here are your ingredients. I can't really see that well to give you guys my opinion. I see maltodextrin and I don't really, oh, I see natural flavors. Both of those I don't love, but you know what? Sometimes 10%. So this falls into that as well. And they had a great coupon on Yasso. So I got those. And then I also got the chocolate chip cookie dough. These ones are only 100 calories and these ones are one bar per serving. So that's pretty interesting. So always read your nutrition label. Troy also asked for, I can't believe it's not butter in the tub. That guy, he doesn't, I, I use my melt butter. He doesn't know the difference, but if he goes to put butter on anything, he always reaches for this. So I grabbed in the huge tub at Walmart because it's like $6, which that little tub is $3. So this is a fantastic deal. These are also for him. This whole little stack is for him. These are the vanilla snack pack puddings, but I thought that I would show these to you guys because a lot of you, again, use I can't believe it's not butter, and we can have whatever we want on Weight Watchers as long as it works in our points. He doesn't eat chocolate, as you know, so vanilla pudding. And then these are his as well. These are the 20 pack of the Mother Circus Animal Cookies. These are only 150 calories. I don't really like these either. So be these and these little muffins don't tempt me at all. If anything was going to tempt me, it would be these pretzels. But due to the ingredients and the points, I don't eat them. So these are also his little Mother's Circus Animal Cookies. Now everything else is produce. So I grabbed a huge delicious watermelon from Trader Joe's. Uh, we love watermelon and you can only get it for a short period. So we always buy it. I also grabbed some organic celery hearts. I need that for a recipe. Some basil. You guys know I love basil on my salad so much. And I have two or three recipes this week using basil. My favorite herb. Hands down my very favorite herb. And this is pretty affordable at Trader Joe's. I think it's three or four dollars for this little clamshell packet. I also have a big bag of limes for recipes. And this week I'm just going to put limes in my water just because I needed them for a recipe anyway. So I had to buy them. Made a little more sense. Green onions. They're not organic. Unfortunately, I don't, Trader Joe's doesn't sell them organic, but I need those for a couple recipes, salads, bananas for recipe, as well as for smoothies. I need to let these really, really get really ripe. The riper, the better, the sweeter. And then I pop them into my freezer for my protein shakes. Tomatoes for his tacos, as well as we needed tomatoes for a dinner recipe. Two bell peppers, I actually only needed one, but Trader Joe's sells the organic in two packs, so I just grabbed the two pack. And last but not least for food, I have Driscoll's Organic Strawberries. These look so good. I can smell them through the package, and that makes me know that they're going to be incredibly sweet. So that is it, my friends, for groceries. I asked you guys last week if you were interested in non-grocery items, you said yes. So let me show you what I picked up. So here are a few non-grocery things. Target had spend $20 on beauty, get $5 gift card, and spend $20 on laundry, get a $5 gift card. So I decided to go ahead and pick up two packs of the seventh generation laundry packs. These were about $10 each. And then I got a $5 gift card for buying two packs. And then for beauty, I actually spent $30, but I got a $5 gift card. This is my very, very favorite face wash. This is the Soap and Glory Foaming Face Wash. I love this face wash. It gets my skin so clean. I love that it's a pump. So it's like the foamy hand soap. It's the best. I did not know Target sold this brand. And when I saw it, I about died and threw it into my cart. And then I grabbed some wax strips. So this is a new brand, Flamingo. So these are the body wax strips for waxing. And then I also grabbed another one of my favorite bronzer, which is, or highlighter, I should say, which is the Physician's Formula Butter 
bronzer. I buy mine in the bronzer color, a little darker. I use this as a highlighter. It smells like coconuts and tropical, and it's amazing. I love it. And lastly, just some snack size bags for lunches. So those are my non-food items. So let's get into my meal plan and meal prep. All right, let's jump into this week's meal plan. Just so you guys know, the Spiral Bound Planner, this one here, is not available still on the Curiel website, but you can download the printables, and my code will still work for that. So I'll put my code down below. It'll give you 10% off even the print printables. So still can support Curiel, the small business. We just can't get the Spiral Bound yet. So with that being said, this is the week of June 27th through July 3rd. July 3rd. July what? This year has flown by as chaotic and crazy as it's been so today saturday we are going to be going out for dinner it's the day that we support a local business go out for dinner or do takeout so we'll be doing that this saturday sunday i'm going to be making danish meatballs which is kind of meatballs with a gravy it sounds amazing with some potatoes and some veggies monday is all crust sheet pan lasagna so this is using those pre-boiled noodles and you actually make lasagna on a sheet pan. It sounds incredible, I'm excited. We'll pair that with some veggies. Tuesday, I'm gonna make slow cooker jambalaya. Tuesdays is my cleaning house day, so I like to just have an easy dinner in the slow cooker or the instant pot. So we're gonna do some jambalaya and some veggies. Wednesday, I'm making basil lime chicken because you know I love basil with grilled veggies and probably some sort of a starch, rice or potatoes. And then Thursday and Friday, we're just going to have leftovers because I imagine we'll have quite a few from these other four meals. So that is meal plan for the week. On the back of my weekly menu, you guys can see my grocery list, of course, is missing. That's where I go ahead and plan out meal prep. And here is what you guys will be seeing on Monday in my meal prep video. For breakfast this week, I'm making blueberry jam chia pudding. I can't wait for this. I am obsessed with chia pudding. I found this recipe. I tweaked it a little bit. I cannot wait to share this with you guys. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep video. Lunch, I'm doing a creamy ham and pea and potato casserole. So this is kind of a spin on scalloped potatoes. And I thought that I would pair that with some vegetables. So I have some ham in my freezer I want to use up. So this recipe came in perfectly handy for that. And then for a sweet treat, we're making sugar cookies. Healthy, clean eating, low point sugar cookies. So definitely stay tuned for meal prep coming your way on Monday. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this Saturday. I hope you enjoyed this week's grocery haul meal plan and what I'm doing for meal prep. Stay tuned on Monday for that meal prep video. You're not going to want to miss it. Down in the description box is the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We would love to have you be part of our amazing supportive community. So click that link, head on over and join us. Also in the description box is my website where you'll find all of my recipes as well as links and discount codes to my favorite things. Save you a little bit of money, grab some of your favorite things. I know you guys have grown to love a lot of the things that I love. So it's such a pleasure to be able to offer you guys a discount on those items. So make sure you're checking out the description box. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you stick around, hit that little subscribe button and the bell. That way you're just notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload most days of the week, so you don't want to miss a single one. If you love grocery hauls, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much again for clicking on today's video, spending a little bit of your Saturday with me, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow in my next video. Bye guys. Bye darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.